Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Golden Sun. This is episode 3. In last episode, we made it to Sol Sanctum. We sneaked past the priest or whatever he is and uh, made it here in order to have a look around with Craden and our party and see exactly what all this alchemy lark is all about. I wanted to check something out. If you press start, you can do a couple of things. You can put the game into sleep mode. So, you know, that's handy for a Game Boy Advance game. For RPG, I meant to say. You can save your quest, which is something I want to do. <laughs> I love the little prayer sound. Or you can change settings, which doesn't have that much, but it's got window colour. I am going to change this to like a... Is that too bright? I like it, but <laughs> other people might not. But I think that's quite nice. We'll go for that. Uh, message speed, window brightness, speech, so you can turn off the little blah 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 animal crossing sounds when they talk. And auto sleep if you leave it long enough, I guess. It's still on blue. There we go, that's better. I have a bit of green going on. Anyway, this is going to be a longer episode because I want to get a lot done this time. The dungeon's only the first of it. This is the entrance to Sol Sanctum. This is your first time here, right? Yeah. It's an important relic of our past. Take a good look at it. Okay. But I don't like it. There we go, that's better. More colourful green. Okay, you need to go all three ways anyway. Or it might be the next room I'm thinking of, but I guess, yeah, it's the next room. Um, like I said, there are a lot of puzzles in this place. You can only jump one square at a time. It's not a hard puzzle, really. Trial and error will get you through it. There are fights here, so you want to be wary of that. Just go all out with your magic if you want to. There's no reason to keep it. Okay, so we're just going to go all out with attacks for now. Jenna, it might be a good idea to have a defend, but she does some good damage. Oh yeah, you just know, if you notice then, Garrett, because his target was dead, he just defended. You have to be careful of which enemies you attack. So as to know which ones are going to die soon, sort of thing. Okay, if you have a look at items a sec, I'm going to give a few herbs to Jenna, because she's the weakest and she could do with healing more, maybe. So there we go. I like to level grind around here until maybe level 3. You might not need to level grind to level 2 kind of thing, but, you know. I'm not sure which way is the right way first. I think left is, but we'll have a look anyway. God knows. <laughs> Hello, bats. How you doing? They're doing some decent damage, though. We got Kiwa, so we're sorted, really. And herbs. The right there is sparkling, but there's a hole where the left should be. If you've played any Resi games or survival horrors or even a few of the JRPGs, you'll know what that means. We need to fill that in. We can't go in the middle, that's where the door is out to you, so we need to go to the left, yeah? Right, okay. Really sim simple stuff. Typical! Bloody typical! Turns upon me. Oh shit. Don't like that. There you go, spider. You shouldn't have any trouble with this dungeon anyway. I don't see why. You know. <laughs> it's, it's like a training place. All the basic RPG elements come into play. And everything like that. Yay, it's a small jewel. You know where we're using that. And yes, key items do use your inventory slots up, so... You gotta be careful. And you can't get rid of them, so. <laughs> Unless you use them, of course. That's. You know, that's when they're gone. Is that set the small gem into the empty socket? Yay! But where's. What's happening? Where's it happening to? Okay. It's only one where we haven't been, so. Let's take that route. There are no sort of collectibles in this place either, like, you might find a bit of money in a treasure chest that you can miss, 
or something like that, but no real collectibles. Ah, I didn't kill him. <laughs> Doesn't use up much PP either, Kiwa. Just three. It's pretty good. There we go, door. <laughs> oh, hello story bit. Mm-hmm. Suspicious markings around some other statues. I think <laughs> we might have to do something about that. What's wrong, Craden? Hmm. Those two said there was a hidden passage leading deeper into the sanctum. I've come here many times and I've always thought it looked strange. I'd always imagined Sol Sanctum would look different somehow. But he's been here many times. But what? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Sol Sanctum was built in honour of the sun. Yeah, Sol. There ought to be something here to reflect that. I was always puzzled why there wasn't. If there's a hidden passage, then maybe it leads to... Well, let's see if we can find it. Yeah, let's see. I think he's serious. Should we help him? Yeah, of course. What harm can it possibly do? But it's too dangerous for us to split up. We should stay together. Dear God, he should be in a horror film. He has a bit of common sense. Let's try going this way first. Nothing in here? Bizarre. Okay, we'll try the other way then. If they got the white stones around, there's always like little hints and stuff of things you can do in the game. And these stones, yeah, they make it really obvious. Okay. Slimes, new enemies. It'd be good to have a spell because you learn them by leveling up as well as something else which we'll get to later. Um, yeah, you learn spells like that, which one that we'll be learning soon. Oh, he's run. <laughs> Would have been good for this fight. Oh, it's the life. Think about the slimes. I don't know if it's this version of the slimes or a later version, but they can split in half. So, bringing more enemies in, which gives you more EXP is worth doing. Ooh, level 2 Squire. Master the Squire's Quake. So we've got an Earth spell that hits a group of enemies. Max HP by 8, so more health, more PP, so more MP, that's this game's equivalent. Attack rise by 4, pretty good. Defense by 2, agility by 4, you've got 4 coins. So we now got an Earth spell to use because Isaac is an Earth Adept. Each magic user is an adept at certain el a certain element. Yeah, Isaac is the uh, healer one. I'll show it off when there's more enemies, I think, in a fight. For now, we're fine. <laughs> it's a really quick fight, so why bother? Let's go sweet. If we go left first... Ah... Okay, I'll try it now. Why not? It'll hit all three of them. As you can see, on the sp uh, spell selection screen, on the right, Kiwa shows one line on the right, which means it hits one person. Quake shows three, so three enemies. And you can get more and more as it go along. So we're just going to use Quake. Flay. Garrett's already got it, so we'll use that. And Flay, she's got it as well. I forgot they started with Flay. I thought they learned their level two. Never mind. <laughs> Did. It's not worth wasting your MP too much though. Level 2 guard. No new spells, but he doesn't need one really. Okay, came left to get this. Let's see what we get. Small jewel! Yay! So we need to find the statue head again. Do you know what I'll do? I shall use Kiwa and show that off as well on Jenna. Look at her health. I still like. Oh, he ran away! At least we got a heal, I suppose, but... <sighs> okay. Go right this time. Oh my god! We're definitely getting our spells out this time. Like I said, it doesn't really matter if you waste your PP for this dungeon. But at the same time, I just like to conserve a bit in RPGs. Kill him up. If I was in a normal dungeon, I would probably just be using herbs instead of Kiwa. 
Ah, oh, he, he couldn't escape. But since it's the basic one, go for it. Okay, so they're all at level two. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I just led in the big circle. Great. Okay, just gonna fight. Ah, oh. <laughs> okay. We made it! We need to find where to use this jewel. It's in this room. Hint. <laughs> More statues. Hmm. Doesn't look like we can reach them from here. Perhaps synergy is the key. Yep. Now we can start using move. So, I said it to R. If we haven't said it to anything, then you need to, you need to go into your menu and actually choose it. It's a long-winded thing. So you can set you can set a spell to L and R. Don't ask me why I chose R for this one. It doesn't matter whatsoever. It does use up PP. I think. How much does move use? Two PP, which is a decent amount when you're using it a lot like this. It's gonna be the far left one, isn't it? There's a door over there, but you use the sign G and then you press left or right, you know, to move it. Okay, let's grab our jewel. Grab our jewels! <laughs> but where is that to? There it is. First off, we'll check this way out first, though. I love the glowing of the little minotaur eyes. Or bull eyes. Something like that. That's nothing in you. Look at that. Just to make you walk around and have fights. Okay, new enemy. A maze. How amazing. He's a little shit. He takes a bit more killing. But he gives more EXP, so it's all good. This room, because of that, is a good place to level grind if you really want to. Just remember that you cannot... Or you shouldn't really leave the dungeon, I wouldn't say, until you finish it. I don't know, should I do... Yeah, I think... What I'm going to do is level grind a little bit by you until they're all at level 3. I shall see you in a moment. Yay! Isaac made it to level 3. Didn't learn a new spell, but it doesn't happen all the time. It's not like a really regular occurrence. It just happened to be level 2 where he got his first damaging spell. I think I'll leave it at that, actually. I was going to do a bit more, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're pretty much done with the whole enemy fighting part of the dungeon anyway. Pretty much. I like to explore a lot, even when I've beaten the game. That's where we need to go. Oh. So, <laughs> you know, that's why I'm taking the paths that we don't need to take. And it also gives you to have a look at some of the area more than if... I was defending with me. I mean, more than if I went the right way all the time. So, I think that's a good thing. Okay, what I'm going to do now... Oh, well, in a sec. Hold on, hold on, I'll tell you now. <laughs> what I'm going to do now, before we head into there, since we're not going to be having any more fights now, I'm going to take all of Jenna's stuff. I love the yellow when it shows a boost in stats. It really makes me feel amazing about a new piece of equipment or something. But yeah, I'm going to give all of Jenna's stuff to either of the other characters, who cares. Yeah, equip the other ones. Anyway, and the herbs. We'll give them to... I'm not sure what the maximum amount of herbs a character can have, actually. If you do know, give me a shout. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Just puzzle base now for the rest of the dungeon. This is it! We found it! We found the Sol room. Clearly, this is the mark of the sun, the heart of Sol Sanctum. It's just as I'd imagined, which means those two were telling the truth. But if what they said was true, then that means they must have been... They were thieves. They came to rob the Sanctum. Oh yeah. Let's hurry back to the village and tell everybody. They really want to do that, don't they? <laughs> Graydon, what's the matter? He's found what he loves. The source of what he loves. 
He wants to keep looking. We're so close. Sorry. <laughs> close. Close to what? We've come all the way to the heart of Sol Sanctum. To turn our backs on it and leave. There's something wrong with that. Of course, he wants to explore. Sol Sanctum holds the origins of alchemy. It would be a waste to just leave. What do you think? Should we go a little further? Yes! Of course we will. Thank you. You have to anyway. <laughs> Put it that way, we don't have much choice. Emma Craden, I want to look inside. You know with Isaac at all? No? Really? We'll just go a little bit further. Okay, just a little bit then. Okay, so we found a sun room. Let's go over by here. Find a moon room. The lunar. <laughs> What's this room? There's a moon in the centre. A picture of Luna. This must symbolise night. Uh huh. These rooms must be connected somehow, don't you think? Oh yeah, definitely. These rooms must hide some secret. What could it be? What's it all mean, Isaac? Would you look further at the passage? Yeah, okay. Let me know what you find. Okay, you stay by you for a sec. Let's just go do all the work a sec. I want to go down first. Yay, synergy stone, so we can restore our synergy. But you can walk around and just restore synergy, so... Oh shit, wrong one. So, we're going to cure everyone before using the stone. Party's PP is fully restored. And it's broken. So you can't use these synergy stones to level grind in a dungeon or anything. It's a one-use thing, so it's supposed to be just there to get you through... That's the impression I get anyway. Okay, another moon room. So we're gonna chuck all the statues onto you. Oh shit, something's going on. What's happening? Heh, <laughs> turn into the soul room. We have found something. Oh shit, that's dangerous. It's like, stop, you're about to make a big mistake. Wait, is that. What's wrong, Faden? What is wrong? This is the most interesting mechanism you've found, Isaac. Reminds me of Egad, Professor Egad. <laughs> but this is clearly some kind of trap. This is a trap? Go look in the lunar room and you'll understand. Okay. You've done well. Finding this means you're looking in the right place. But if you just move one statue, you'll be caught in the Sanctum's trap. But why would anyone put a trap here anyway? I don't know who did it, but they've hidden something very important. Perhaps they've hidden the key to alchemy itself. Mm -hmm. Shall I tell you more? Go on then. Honestly, I doubt you could understand it if you explain no. Oh, well, why ask? <laughs> Must try to find a solution to this mystery. Sheesh, another mystery. I'll keep checking the loon room. You continue exploring the sanctum. Just don't touch anything. <laughs> My intuition tells me that light must be the key to the secret. We should test it. Okay. It's like, let's see if we can't figure this out ourselves. Okay. You know, he said not to do it, but I mean, it's right there. <laughs> ah, they won't stay there, so we need to do something else to make them stay on the squares. Have a guess what. <laughs> this room is counted as a separate room to <laughs> the one on the right, so these ones will stay. How amazing is that? Oh, a hole. Handy. Okay. So we need to go down by here. We can't push from here, obviously, so we're going to have to move it down. Way. You'd be shocked how much just got me stuck when I was little. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Will it now push and stay there? 
Yeah, yeah. What's happening? Same as last time, probably. <laughs> Isaac must have found something. Yep. It's sticking right there this time. You found it, Isaac. Graydon. Yep, that was what stopped the trap from happening over on this side. Putting that statue down over there. Excellent work, Isaac. Where did that hole come from? Mm -hmm. When Isaac moved those statues, two beams of light shot out from them. And then this hole appeared in the floor. And Isaac dropped the statue into it after that. Hmm, good work everyone. You're welcome. So statue puzzle was the trap. And that other statue was here to disarm the trap. Exactly, sir. And now that you've disarmed it, we should be alright. Yeah! I'll observe from the lo lunar room where it's safe. You handle the rest. Okay, let's do the rest then. It's not hard to figure out what to do after you've done the first statue. <laughs> We're nearly done now with the dungeon. Sort of. The dungeon part of the dungeon. If that makes any sense whatsoever, you'll probably see what I mean when we get it. Oh, hey, we've turned Luna into Sol. Is there anything going on over this side? Heh, <laughs> Sol into Luna. Let's go down. Let's head on down and see what Craden has to say. Yeah. Look, Isaac, the picture of Luna changed to Sol. But other than that, nothing looks different. That's strange. They went to the trouble of putting the trap here, and this is all that happens, just changes a picture. Somewhere something else must have changed. We must find it. Okay. Go over here. <laughs> Look, the symbol on the floor. It changed from Sol to Luna. Surely there must be something in this room. Surely they must. Okay. I think we'll end it off here, actually. I was going to make a really long episode, but I think it's going to get too long. Like, 40, 45 minutes if I try and do everything I was going to do. <laughs> so, um, I think I over... overstretched it a bit. So, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we go for... The Results of Sol Sanctum. See you in a bit, folks. Things are going to start changing in this game. <laughs>